G'day! This brass fitting is to make an adapter for a classic mini engine. If it's drilled right the way through it can be an adapter, if it's drilled on one of the flats it can be an elbow, and if it's not drilled at all it's just a blanking piece. So let's get on and make some. As you can see, when I planned this first, I didn't plan it very well. The drill is going to be into the chuck before the parting tool is uh, anywhere near the chuck to part it off. So, changed ideas to a 5C collet hole. Uh, uh, that'll work. And then I realised I've got no room for the parts catching tray. So the aluminium block has to go. And while all this is happening, I realise I've got to change the pulley on the motor down below and I can't get the belt out because I've got to remove some parts of the collet closer to make that happen. Been a frustrating job this. There's the drill now in an aluminium block in the turret. Lots of room down below for a parts catcher. So I've got to find myself something to use as a parts catcher. Find this nice plastic tray drill a hole in it to uh, clear the dowel but actually it fitted nicely on the dowel and was held in place beautifully. Um, had to Under the parting tool you can see there was a, you can still see it, there's a bit had to be removed because the tools were hitting it as it went round. Those tools in the turret, one of them is actually a, a weight to help balance up the turret a bit. When I ran the first one I'd forgotten that I'd actually changed from the parting tool from tool position 7 to tool 8 and wondered why the turret had missed a change. It hadn't missed a change at all, it was I'd forgotten to change the number in the code. Undo the collet, move it up to the stock, uh, up to the stop rather. Twenty four hundred RPM. Using a carbide insert made for cutting aluminium. I rather like it with brass. Gives you nice chips that are manageable. If you use a zero rake, as we were used to be told in in the olden days, um, you just get brass sprayed everywhere. It's horrible. This gives you a nice controllable chip that you can manage. Down to 1500 RPM now. As usual, it's a full form insert, only cuts 18 TPI. 5.8 UN thread. Just missing that shoulder there. Back up to 2400 RPM for the drilling cycle. That's a CNC stub drill. They cost about six times the price of a normal stub drill, but they can be well worth it. The flutes are shaped differently and they really clear the swarf well. I backed that off so it wasn't working because it was chattering like nobody's business. There we go, there's a parts tray coming under the part, ready to catch it. Chamfer, all the way in. And it didn't drop off. You've got no idea how disappointed I was when that happened. Um, yeah, apparently my turret is a bit low and I've got to do some serious work to shim it up and get it to work. That's what we were left with after we'd pulled the part off. That's what it looked like after putting it in the manual lathe and facing it off a bit. There you go, that's the finished part. Deburred in the centre hole by hand. Finished. Thank you for watching.